Hi, welcome to my first ever attempt at uh, making a full-fledged pocket page. Um, I have one here that I'm going to try, and honestly, I will tell you, uh, since I really haven't done much with these before, um, if you watch the video and I screw up, I would love it if you let me know in the comments if you have any great ideas or anything like that. If you like it and you learn something from it, cool, but if not, let me know because I would love to use this as learning tool also. So here's what I picked out to work with. Um, I was just going to do a page on our uh, birthday party last year. My husband and I were actually born seven days apart, so we share birthdays every year and we had our big achy 50th birthday party this last year. So um, I thought I would put a few pictures in from that. So I chose four pictures I thought would be good. Um, I think I'm going to leave them in this, this location, but I'm not sure. And then I also did some um, just silhouette, the print and cut cards. They had some journaling cards and little 3x4 and 4x6 cards. So I uh, cut out a few of those. This one I'm going to use uh, some stamps on since this is my Growing in Unity week and um, I'm featuring Unity stamps all week. I thought I would use a really, really cool stamp of theirs for this card. Um, and then, like I said, this card is going to be journaling and I'm just going to add that in later. So this is kind of my basic general outline and we'll go from there and see what happens. I am using a really cool chevron stamp um, that I got with this set right here. Um, it's called About the Inches, and it's kind of like a, a really cool stamp set for um, a weight loss journey, I guess, you know, because there's, there's things uh, that say the fit life and big changes and journey to the new me and so on and so forth. But one of the things that really, really caught my eye was this really cool chevron stamp because it's by far big enough to be a background stamp. So this is the set that that came from. So there's that stamp. Love, love, love it. Love the chevrons. Um, let's see. While I have this out, I had a couple of little arrows that I want to just kind of get inked up a little. We'll turn them red instead of white. These were actually arrows that I cut out of some cardstock that I was using on my last video about how to emboss without using embossing folders. So uh, you might want to look that one up if that's anything you're interested in. Um, you don't have to buy embossing folders and you can still use your big shot, cuddle bug, whatever, and emboss. So these were like the little negative pieces. So I wanted to keep those because you can always use arrows for something, I'm sure. Now, um, something else that I was playing around with yesterday are some little enamel dots. And these have become all the rage lately. Uh, everybody loves working with them. They're a little bit pricey. I've noticed they're, oh gosh, you might get 20, 30, 40 dots for $5 at uh, Michael's and Joann's and that kind of stuff. So I decided to jump on the bandwagon and make my own. So I used uh, pony beads that I got from Walmart and perler beads that I actually found um, at uh, our local Goodwill. So I just looked out. I got a big, huge bucket of perler beads for $2.99, and it was mostly full. So these larger enamel dots were made with the pony beads, and the smaller ones were made with the pearl perler beads. And like I said, I did them yesterday, tried them out first time, and they came out so cool. So super, super excited about that. I might end up making a video maybe on it as well, but if it's anything you're interested in trying for yourself, um, uh, there's, I mean, just look it up on YouTube because there's lots of videos. I, I ran into two or three different videos. Uh, I didn't use the, um, the times and stuff suggested on most of them because most of them seem like it was really low heat for a long time. And I'm a little more impatient than that, so I used really high heat for a shorter time, and it seemed to work out fine for me. So I'm good with it. So all I did is I took some of these little melted pieces of plastic, and I put them on um, uh, adhesive, glue dots, whatever you have, 
and I just stuck it to the back and then I'm sticking them right down here. So that's going to be one of my journaling cards. I should probably do some more pen work or something and I might, but for now, there's that. Um, I was going to put a couple of green ones on this journaling card too. I thought this green looked good on the green stripe. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. So the whole idea, my understanding, the whole idea of pocket pages is just to keep it quick and keep it simple. So that's what I'm doing. I just don't know if maybe I'm keeping it a little bit too simple and it's going to be a little bit uh, plain or not. So like I said, I would love to hear feedback if anybody has any feedback from any of this. Okay, so on some of these pictures, um, this one for instance, I was going to use my two little red arrows and kind of point out the 50 on the cake that our sweet daughter got us telling us that we're over the hill thank you so much just what we needed to know <laughs> so I have some zip dry glue uh, this is kinda I just love this stuff this is kinda my go-to if I'm doing anything involving paper and hopefully these photos aren't going to be so glossy that it's going to give me a problem. But this is, uh, did I say quick dry? I meant zip dry glue. Anyway, it is zippy. It is very fast drying glue. So love this stuff. Use it a lot. Buy it a lot. And so there's going to be an embellishment for that. Oh, I also have a little package of... This is um, Basic Gray. These are just little stickers that come. Basic Gray does kind of their own kinds of books for pocket pages and stuff. I got some at Tuesday morning a while back and got a few packages of stickers and stuff to go along with them. So um, I thought some of them were kind of cute and it kind of goes along with our color. And I kind of wanted to hide that clock right there and just break up that big area of wall. So... These pictures were when, yeah, you don't want to see that picture. Nobody needs to see us kissing. <laughs> These pictures were when we were opening a present that our daughter gave us. There's our little high five there. So I was just going to write a brief little, you know, what that was about. Um, let's see. I think I'm also going to do a little, we'll do a little date sticker here for when this was and that it was our 50th birthday. Let's see, what else can we do? Let me bring my pocket back out. Kind of get an idea of design. I think I had a couple of other things in mind. I'm not sure though. I'll go back and look and see. So here's that. And then I had, oh, here's our fourth. There's our journaling card. Oh, so actually on here, I also did a print and cut on silhouette that said you and me. I thought that would be perfect to, to uh, point. Of course, then if we do that, I don't like the fact that we have two things pointing. So let's see if that'll come off easy enough. Although I do feel like there's kind of something else that card needs. I'm not sure what though. Let's see. That looks pretty good hold up. I think what I'm going to do for now is call this done. I'm going to go back and I'll, I'll fill in my little areas and maybe see if I can figure out something else for this card. I just haven't decided yet. So I don't know. I'm so used to making 12 by 12 pages that to me this looks a little bit plain, but pocket pages are supposed to be quick and easy. So I'm going to put pictures on the blog, scrap this, save that.com. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, I would really, really, really love to hear them. All right, so thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me for a little while. And I hope you have an awesome day and talk to you soon. Bye.